in this video, we're going to take our polymerized gel and we're going to put it in the gel tank and then load it with samples and run it. So now that we have our completely polymerized gel, we can take it out of this frame in this clamp by just loosening it and taking it straight out. Um, you also want to take it out of the green frame. So to do that, you open the door. And then you want to make sure that you're holding on to it because once the doors are open, this, these glass plates can just slide out. Don't let that happen to you. So hold on to it and you can take it out either the top or the bottom. That doesn't matter. Leave the comb in for now. Next, you want to get your plate holder. And if you're only running one gel, you need to have a buffer dam. If you're running two gels, um, they will go together in the same holder, but you actually need two things in order to hold the buffer in the middle. So the correct orientation for your gel is to have the short plate facing you, basically the same way it was in the, uh, the caster, the clamp. You want to take that short plate and flip it around so that the short plate is facing the middle. You put the glass plates down in the bottom first, and then you just press it up gently. And you want to hold that in place. And then you take the buffer dam, and you can see the buffer dam has a thickness to it. It's got, it mimics the um, having the short plate in there. And so on the buffer dam, it actually says this side towards the gasket, meaning facing inside. So you do the same thing. That part faces inside. And you put it together. Sometimes this will work perfectly and it will hold buffer to make sure that it's going to do that. This is my trick for doing it. What you want to do is if you look at this part of the gasket, you have um, this part that sticks out the furthest and another little bump under that. And then the rest of this green rubber is all one level. When you put your plates in or the buffer dam in, the short plates or this part of the buffer dam, they're going to touch the bottom of this top piece of the green gasket. If they're not all the way flush with that, you actually need to push them up a little bit. So just gently slide it up, just so that the short plates or this part of the buffer dam is contacting the gasket and making a tight seal. Hold it there, flip it around, push the other plate up a little. Do the same thing on the other side if you accidentally let go and it falls. And then while holding it, your next step is putting it into this uh, plate holder, which is going to clamp it so that it all stays together. So you want to make sure that the, the doors are open. Put it straight down in the middle. While holding it, close the doors. Next step is to put it into the gel tank. The gel tank has these little uh, knobs on it that will fit these parts right next to the electrode. So it goes straight in there. Your next step is to load it with running buffer. We have 1x SDS page running buffer. You want to fill it in the middle all the way to the top. So in between your buffer dam and your gel, fill it all the way top. You can actually even let it overflow. And then you want to pour some down into the outer part to the outside of the tank. And so now in the middle, you have it full of buffer. And on the bottom, you want the level to be above where the buffer dam or the glass plates are. So I'll look at that again in a minute. Now you can take out the comb. You want to do this gently and straight so that you don't bend the wells. Carefully take that out very straight. Put that to the side. Now, uh, one thing that you can do to help your samples run really well is actually wash out the wells with pipetting. This helps you get rid of any unpolymerized stuff that might be hanging out in the wells. So I'm going to get about 100 microliters. I'm going to take some from the middle of the where the buffer is, and I'm going to basically just pipette up and down all the way across here. If you want to get really careful with it, you can aim your pipetter into each well, but it's usually okay just to pipette up and down a bunch of little times. Okay, now that that's nice and clean, I want to make sure that my buffer levels are good for running before I load my samples. 
in the middle, you do want it all the way to the top because this is going to be your electrical circuit. In the top, the electricity goes into the buffer. You want the buffer to carry the electricity into the short plate and down through the gel. And then it comes down through the gel out into the buffer at the bottom. So if your buffer in the middle goes too low, it won't run. If your buffer in the bottom is too low, it won't run. Add a little splash. You can fill this up maybe even halfway if you really want to. All right, now I'm ready to load my samples. I'm gonna scoot this close. First, I'm going to load my ladder. Which remember, you do not heat. It is all ready to go. To load this, you have to figure out where to put your head so that you see kind of the reflection of where the wells are. And that will allow you to aim the tip of the pipette so that you can get down into the wells. So I'm going to load my ladder right here. You want to put the tip of your pipetter right on the top of the short plate and then push down. The sample will float down to the bottom of the well because it is more dense than the buffer. Don't go down to the second stop. There is the ladder. Now I will do my samples. And these are the different dilutions of BSA. That one's not cooperating. We'll pick that one later. And here's my last sample. Also not cooperating. That's okay, we'll fix that one later too. Okay, now you have totally loaded your gel and you're ready to run it. So what you want to do is take the lid for the this electrophoresis gel tank. See that you have a red and a black lead on them. Notice that you have a red and a black circle around these electrodes. You want to match red to red and black to black. So there's red and black, and I'm going to match them with red and black. Push that straight down on there. Now I'm going to take my power supply. And I'm going to take the leads from the electrode and plug them in matching red to red and black to black. I'm gonna turn on my power supply. On this one, the switch is on the side. All right, and now we want to run these at, um, we'll say 250 volts. So right here it's saying that it is measuring volts um, and we are going to push that until the number goes up to 250. All right, and then when you're ready to run it, you push the running person. And then it read, this is the readout of how many volts there are. As it's running, you should be able to see little bubbles coming up from the bottom into the middle buffer, and that's an indication that the current is flowing correctly. You'll be able to watch as the blue dye goes down, and then you'll want to stop it before it reaches the bottom of your glass plate. 